Good day to all. Feeding back again for episode 5 of To the Sun. I hope everyone has been well. Before we begin, I would like to have a moment of silence for those who were killed, injured, and have had their lives forever changed as a result of the Israel-Palestine conflict Thank you for your observation. I want to start off this episode by discussing Sprout Distro, a grassroots federated anarchist news, events, and praxis source for people who want to learn solid anarchist theory and practice for every day. They have published hundreds of signs in their lifetime, and there is no shortage of material to sift through. Categories include anti-oppression, prisons, security, DIY, and more. They promote direct action not only by providing literature necessary to make mutual aid possible, but Sprout Distro also published local accounts of anarchists telling their own personal stories about direct action. This report is called The Local Kids, and they currently have nine issues published as of summer 2023. If you're interested in reading their content through RSS, they have an RSS feed as well. Finally. Sprout Distra has several social media accounts you can follow. In Instagram, Mastodon, Pixelfed, Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. It's Going Down, also known by the abbreviation and acronym IGD, is another news source from an underground, free media, anarchist, and leftist perspective. They report on international news media and coverage, but also report on local happenings that concern progressive social action, such as disaster relief by mutual aid organizations, following prisoners who have been organizing for reformative justice, and, recently, student movements in support of occupied Palestine. If you feel so inclined, you can contribute to their newsletter directly by contacting them at their Proton mail address, info at it's going down Dot org, or by sending them a secure attachment via CryptPad. You may also know IGD through their podcast network, Channel Zero, which I covered in a previous video in the series. Lastly, I would like to give you some information about IGD's various shows. Quote, It's Going Down produces three audio programs. IGD Show. Features interviews and discussions produced for the Pacifica Radio Network. These 58-minute radio-ready shows are broadcast Fridays, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. PT on KPFA 94.1 FM and 88.1 KFCF in Northern and Central California. This is America. Audio analysis and roundup of resistance and headline news, all from an anarchist perspective. And finally, IGD Cast features raw interviews and discussions. IGD Cast is also proudly part of the Channel Zero Anarchist Podcast Network. Subscribe and rate them on iTunes, and they are also on Stitcher, Spotify, Podbean, Podtail, Listen Notes, and Blueberry. Quote Founded in 2016 by organizers, From the Stand with Nahui Defense Campaign, California Coalition for Women's Prisoners, Love and Protect, then known as Chicago Alliance to Free Marisa Alexander, and the National Free Marisa Now Mobilization Campaign, Survived and Punished, is dedicated to helping raise the voices of incarcerated and formerly incarcerated people. End quote. In addition, Survived and Punished focuses on meaningful steps to eliminate gender-based violence, police brutality, sexual violence, and deportation. They have a particular focus on LGBT people as well as women and women of color. They advocate for writing letters to prisoners, donating to provide bail funds and money for a person's post-carceral life, and currently have a campaign running now that is pushing for commutation for several individual sentences. Tracy McCarter, a nurse arrested and jailed for its self-defense against her abusive husband, was also recently featured on the show Democracy Now! 
I will leave a link to that interview in the description if you'd like to watch it. And if you would like to join a local branch as a volunteer or affiliate, they have offices in California, New York, and Chicago. If you are at all interested in defunding the fraudulent prison state, then please check out Survived in Pine. Coming back to a focus on privacy matters, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, otherwise known as the EFF, should sound like a familiar name. Today, I want to focus on the EFF's privacy page, where they compile an index of digital and material sources of security for staying protected from unwanted tracking and surveillance, even while out and about far away from an electronic device like your computer or cell phone. Glancing through the index, I can see some very important topics that everyone should be aware of and be able to take actionable security steps to ensure their maximum pr privacy and protection. Using good search engines, using end-to-end -end encryption, opting for do not track, etc. However, the EFF also offers some privacy recommendations to use, such as Privacy Badger, which I utilize. I can see there are several articles related to suspicion against several congressional members' support of a Children's Protection Act, which would limit the ability for people under 18 to access certain websites and social media because they are not child appropriate. For the schools that may be forced to enact this, we must take issue with this anti-choice legislation. Our next resource is another Electronic Frontier Foundation feature. <laughs> this comes in the form of an article titled, How to Identify Visible and Invisible Surveillance at Protest. The author of the article details to the reader several important means of surveillance one can see with their own eyes in plain sight, like body cameras and police drones. They also make sure to include very pertinent information about the particulars of this text. Drones, for example, are also used by journalists and reporters on scene to capture footage of protests and civil unrest, so you cannot automatically assume it's police surveillance if you see a drone, but still. On the flip side, we get to come prepared by learning about surveillance tech we cannot readily observe. This kind of tech includes facial recognition software and social media monitoring. Using basic safety hygiene, we can avoid the pitfalls of these invasive security monitoring systems. For example, don't trust everyone you meet on Facebook, which I'm sure you guys already know already. Because Memphis police, among other police forces, have used a fake Bob Smith character as a way to spy on citizens. Instead, opt for a secure messaging app like Signal, Briar, if you don't have Wi-Fi, Jutsi Meet, or Session. Finally, the last resource in this video comes from the American Civil Liberties Union, or ACLU for short. In this article, the ACLU of Florida presents the reader with a handy guide on how to launch an advocacy campaign for a designated social cause. Their first step advises careful research of your social cause and making a roadmap for your organization, group, or even self to follow. What issues would you like to change? Who is affected by it? Do you have community allies? What's the current public policy? Step two is to gather allies. These can be friends, neighbors, spiritual leaders, mentors like teachers, or people within your workplace like union leaders who are enthusiastic about making a move. The third step is to plan for your message and how you will approach stakeholders. This step goes hand in hand with step four, developing your message for your audience. Include the medium you will use, like social media, ad campaigns, newsletters, in-person protests, to get your key points across, and how you will distribute and share these key points. Step 5 and 6 concern the proliferation of your message. Digitally through the internet, in person in a meeting with your stakeholders, mailed out, etc., and working with those allies and people you want to reach, if this is something you feel like doing. You can then mobilize to the public by going to a local news station to share your story, granting interviews, 
making a manifesto on your group's website, and more. And then step seven is complete. That'll be all for now. I hope you got some use out of this episode. There will definitely be more to come. Until I see you again, be well and keep moving towards the sun. Bye for now.